Hello, the internet. You're with Got That Fuck. I wanted to talk a little bit about the legacy of Ronald Reagan and why I think it should be painted in black. Because there seems to be this uh, non-stop push to sort of canonize Reagan, to make him into some sort of political saint. And that really bothers me because the administration of Ronald Reagan was very bad for America. And he himself was not that great of a president. Could he have done worse? Sure. Most presidents could do worse. But um, there was an awful lot of things that happened while Ronald Reagan was president. That the conservatives right now don't seem to want to, anyone to remember. And since there are those of us in the world who can remember these things quite vividly, because we were adults at the time, uh, I think it's incumbent to remind people what Reagan's presidency was really all about. For one thing, the presidency of Ronald Reagan was mired in corruption. Ronald Reagan presided over the most corrupt White House administration in the history of the United States. More than 100 of his officials, well over 100 of his officials, were either convicted or indicted or investigated for serious crimes, including fraud and, uh, I think, bribery and all sorts of stuff. Um, so just, just in terms of corruption, the administration was a shambles. Um, Reagan's trickle-down theory of economics, where you know we'll make it as easy as possible for rich people to get richer so that they'll reinvest their money in the economy and therefore everyone will have more jobs and more prosperity for all because they'll pass the profits down to their workers and so forth. Well, that just hasn't materialized, has it? That, that's just been proven to be a complete lie. Um, so, I don't even understand how anybody buys into that stuff anymore. And Reagan managed to sell this stuff despite the fact that everybody knew for sure that he was lying to us all because of the color of his hair. Um, uh, but I digress. The other thing about Reagan's presidency, for me the most serious problem with Reagan's presidency was the Iran-Contra scandal. I mean, for those of you who aren't old enough to remember uh, the Reagan presidency, I'll just tell you that uh, in the final years of the Reagan presidency, he basically got busted because people within his administration had arranged to sell weapons to Iran, uh, which was an enemy of the United States at the time because previously, like five or six years before that, they had uh, taken Americans hostage in our own embassy in their country when they uh, had their um, Islamic revolution. And uh, our we had 53, I think, hostages who were kept in that embassy for well over a year. And it was a big, uh, big deal. It's probably the main reason Carter lost the election in 1980 and Reagan won. Uh, it was all of that out of the way. So Iran was an enemy nation of ours. They were fighting a war with uh, Saddam Hussein at the time, and they wanted weapons. And so we sold them weapons on the understanding that they would use their influence with the terrorists who they were backing in Lebanon, the Hezbollah, uh, to use their influence to free American hostages being held in that part of the, the world. So let's just get this straight. The Congress had put sanctions on Iran so that we couldn't sell them weapons at all. So selling them weapons was breaking our own laws. Not to mention the fact that we're dealing with people who we're telling the world are our enemies, but we're actually giving them weapons, which is pretty serious, on the understanding that they're going to basically uh, do a wink and a nod whisper deal to get some of our people released, which we would probably then take the credit for. Um, so that was one side of the Iran-Contra affair. But what's the Contra side? Well, what they did with the money from selling Iran those weapons was funnel that to some right-wing uh, rebels in Nicaragua who were trying to overthrow the socialist Sandinista government in Nicaragua, um, who were you know allied to the Soviet Union at the time as well, I think. Anyway, um, so you know basically they wanted to fight some kind of proxy war in Central America. They couldn't get money uh, from Congress. Congress had basically said, no, we're not going to give them any official support, those Contra rebels. So again, they were breaking laws by giving money to people they were outlawed from giving money to. So they're breaking laws in both directions, right under the nose of the president. Either the president knew about it, uh, in which case he should have been impeached, or he didn't know about it, in which case he should have been impeached. 
because if you can be president and have that kind of thing going on right under your nose and you don't know about it, you shouldn't have that position. So <clears throat> for me, the Iran-Contra thing all by itself should torpedo anybody's impression of the Reagan administration, but it goes deeper. I mean, you know, he, he, he completely fucked with Social Security. And there was the same as the loan crisis during the Reagan administration. Um, what else can I think of off the top of my head? Loads of stuff basically went wrong. He, he, he put loads and loads of people who were mentally ill out onto the streets and created what we now call the homelessness problem. I mean, there's always been hobos uh, in any society. There's always going to be some unemployed homeless people. Uh, but not the way it was after the Reagan years because they basically emptied loads and loads of psychiatric hospitals right onto the street. They were supposed to be cared with, for in the community, but it didn't really materialize like that. And there was just no place for these people to go. And they were, and sometimes still are, a threat to society if they're mentally ill without the proper care and attention that they needed. So, you know, all sorts of stuff like this. I could go on and on. The thing about Reagan is, while Reagan was president, I have to concede that there were two things that Reagan did um, that I thought were good. Uh, one, which is sort of intangible, but if I'm honest, I have to admit. I mean, the 80s felt like a good, like a good era in America. Living in America in the 80s, it felt good, you know, because people were prospering. I mean, I remember very well if I uh, lost a job or decided to quit my job like I could get another job you know the next day or the day after that it didn't take any time to get another job there were jobs everywhere you know so it felt it, it felt like prosperous I get that and from my point of view um, the only really good thing politically Reagan ever did was talk to Gorbachev and initiate what became huge arms reductions I think that was incredibly valuable and something we should all be thankful for, even though we still have nuclear weapons at the moment which are turned on and pointing at cities, so we shouldn't necessarily feel uh, too secure about nuclear weapons on the one hand. On the other hand, I do believe that uh, the fact that we've managed to go for the past 70 years without using them again on each other speaks for itself and just goes to show you that even politicians aren't that stupid sometimes. Let's hope it maintains that. I just wanted to say these things about Ronald Reagan's presidency though and uh, feel free to argue with me in the comment section if you feel so inclined and if you feel so inclined to add more of the uh, Reagan disasters to my list I would appreciate that as well. Um, so I, I look forward to a lively discussion in the comments. Thanks for watching this video, and until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.